A spring tutorial for beginners complete guide. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can get started with Teespring. Now, what exactly is Teespring? Well, Teespring is currently now just known as Spring, and it is a simple solution for you to be able to create and start selling products. So let's get into it. So what Teespring does is that it provides you a platform where you can find a bunch of different suppliers and within those suppliers, you can go on ahead and choose the design you want. And then the suppliers will print out that design and send it directly to your customers. So there's no waste of inventory either. The best part about using Teespring is that not only is it a great platform to create, but you can also integrate it onto your sales channels, such as your point of sale system, or even your online store or your Shopify store. What this will help you in doing is that you can find multiple different sales channels for the same designs. Now to get started, simply head on over to teespring.com and click on start creating. Now, once you click on start creating, you can sign up with your brand name, your email and your password. You can also continue with Facebook, Google or YouTube. So over here, I've just chosen my pre-existing Google account to create my Teespring account. And now you will see your homepage. Then in your homepage, you will have your basic dashboard and let's take a look at our dashboard. So, so once you open up your dashboard, you will be able to see your different sales channels that you can directly link. Then you have some quick actions to create products and edit your store. And then you also have promotional features such as creating sales. Now on the left side, you have a drop down, and in this, you have your homepage, your upgrades, integrations, analytics, listings, stores, payouts, purchases, and tools. Now, if we take a look at some of the more distinctive upgrades that you can get, you can see that even though Teespring is a free to use application, if you do pay a premium, you can actually use a bunch of different features that can be super helpful as well. But first, let's get started with building our first product on Teespring. So the first thing you have to do is click on create product on the top left. Now, once you go into the create product section, you will be able to see this particular toolbar. In this toolbar, you have the type of product that you want and you can choose the product that you want. So let's say it's footwear over here and I can see the different types of footwear that I can customize. Or let's say I want to design a hoodie. So I can take a look at the hoodie designs that I can create. Now you can create whatever type of hoodie or item that you want. You just have to find the pre-existing templates that are available or, you know, the pre-existing shapes that are available. So you have comfort tea and some of these are printed just to show you guys how they would be designed like and you can choose the one that you want. You also get product specifications such as the material. So this item is a team jersey made out of polyester and these are cotton t-shirts. So you can choose the type of item that you want. And using Teespring also allows you to make sure that all of your suppliers are vetted and are providing the best quality materials and products. Because sometimes if you're doing this on your own, you never know what your supplier is going to send you and what would be the quality of that product. Now, moving on, let's take a look at one item that we're going to create. So I think I'm just going to create a t-shirt and we have multiple different types of cotton tees and you have the base cost of each one listed. So this is a maple tea and this is listed for $24 more than the average tea. You have the women's boyfriend tea, which has a $17 base price, but the base price for the women's classic tea, which is a classic fit that has 100% cotton is $16. Then we also have some crop tea as well as a v-neck tea. I think I'm going to go with the standard basic tea over here. And then you can choose a background color. You can see you have up to five background colors that you can sell on one individual listing. So let's say I want to create this shirt on a pink background and a white background and this bluish background. Now, after that, you can click on add image or add text to add your own customized image or text. To add an image, simply click on add image and then go into the folder that you have your image in and you can get started with uploading your image. Let's say for us, this is going to be our image. So I will click on open over here and the image would be added. Now you can expand or decrease the size of your image as well. So once you have added your image like this, you will be able to see how it's going to look like once it has been placed. 
So I think I'm going to just leave it like so. After that, you can click on add text and then a text block in the right preview will be added. Now in this text block, you can add whatever text you want. So I'm going to type in some of my text. So I'm just adding floral fiesta over here. And now what you're going to do is that you can print it over at this particular section that has been highlighted in red. You can't really add this into any other section. So keep that in mind whenever you are building these kinds of whenever you're building these kinds of t-shirts because this t-shirt does not have a all over print however there are other t-shirt templates that do have all over prints as well now i'm going to click on add text and i will add my text over here now once i've added my text on the top left i can choose how i want to structure it so i can click on my text box and you have your fonts over here so you can choose the font that you want like this and then on the right of that you have the color of your text so you can choose the color that you want and then you have bold italic and underlining options as well as your basic alignments so i'm just going to place this over here and then on the left side you will be able to see your pricing you can choose your price in us dollars or eu pounds if you want so let's say i want the price to be 30 dollars so you will be able to see your profit per sale as well. Now after that you have an advanced section where you can go on ahead and choose to showcase the particular design on the front. So let's say the featured color is going to be blue. And then after that you also can click on the top left it says front. So in your preview it, on the top left it says front. If you click on this and click on back you can actually add a print to the back as well. You can design it further. Let's say I don't want to add anything, I can skip it, but if you do, you can upload more images as well. Now, after you have completed your basic design, you can click on add design to continue. So we're just going to make sure that our email address is verified before we continue on publishing our store. So if you do not have your email address verified, you might not be able to save all of your content as you go. So you just have to make sure that you are doing that as you go. So we're just going to continue on over here. And I think I I prefer it without the text. So I'm just going to leave it like so and just keep my colors added. Now after that, I'm going to enter the price that I want. Let's say I want it to be $30 like so. And now after I have completed all of the basic items, such as my advanced settings as well, I can go on ahead and continue on to publishing your design. So make sure to preview your design before you finalize it. And once you are satisfied with the overall pricing, then you can get started with saving your design. Currently, the artwork that I'm using is just a very basic image, so it's a bit low quality. I can go on ahead and add something a bit higher quality to make it easier for my t-shirt to be added. Because the artwork resolution is very important, you'll see that if it remains in the good quality section, you can continue. But if I expand this image too much, the print quality is going to say poor. And once the print quality says poor, then Teespring is not going to print those items because they have to make sure that quality is insured and is managed on all of their products. Now, after that, I'm going to click on continue over here to go to the next section. Now, once you create one design, it will give you some suggestions to create similar designs. Let's say I want to create a crew neck sweatshirt or t-shirt or a unisex sweatshirt, I can add those as well. I also have account of print options as well as premium pullovers, mugs, stickers, and more. Now, let's say that for me, I want to go with this print glass, so I can just click on the top left icon, and you can click on the plus icon that is present on any of these items to be able to add those items. Now, once you do that, you can even click on edit to edit that item. So you guys can see this would be the mug edit and I can just click on continue over here. We have the classic long sleeve tee as well and we can click on edit to further edit this and you can place it maybe down up wherever you might like and then click on continue on the bottom left. Now after that click on continue and once you have clicked on continue on the top left you will add your new listing. So the name of design is going to be Paris and then your description. 
So once you've added your description and your title, you can go into the advanced settings where you can edit your URL handle. And then you also have your visibility. So you can make this item unlisted, private or public. For us, I want it to be public. Now after that, you can choose where to add it. So if you have linked your Shopify store, Wix store, or any other sales channel to Teespring, you can directly upload your product over there as well. Once you have done that, you can click on launch listing over here. And in a couple of seconds, your listing would be launched. So let's wait a couple of seconds for our product images to be prepared and for our listing to be completed. Now, once you do that, you will be able to see the share URL button. And then what you can do is that you can paste and go to that particular URL and then you will be able to see your listing has been created. So what your listing is going to look like to the customers that are seeing it. You see, this is our listing, which is Cacti and Lady. And we have our different types of items that are suggested in the similar products list. Now, moving on to the next item, we can go on ahead back into our dashboard. And obviously, if you are someone that has not built their store previously, I will show you guys how you can do that as well. So you guys can see this is just a basic little website, but you can also go on to Shopify to build proper stores if you're looking to go for something on the larger scale. However, if you're not really someone that's looking for something on the larger scale, you can easily find something that is comfortable and easy to use while still being on Teespring, and that is going to be their native platforms you can also go into your integration section and click on all integrations to integrate different social media platforms now going into the store section over here you guys can see this is our teespring store and what you can do is that you can scroll down and even connect your own custom domain you also can purchase a new domain depending on the domain name now on the right side you will be able to see your previews and your social accounts now after your home updates and basic store settings you can go into integrations and add sales channels and after those sales channels come analytics analytics can be super important to know what kind of designs work best for your business if you feel like a color is particularly better you can suggest that color more frequently or if you think that maybe something new is coming in trend, then you can do that more frequently. So in the same way, whatever you're designing with Teespring, you can actually go on ahead and start making it the norm or the trend. So whatever kind of item is currently trendy, if water bottles are currently trendy, so you can create water bottle designs instead. Now, after that, you have your listing section. In this section, you will be able to see all of your products that you have listed on your store. Now, after you list a product on your store, there might still be some quality checks you might want to do. To do that, simply click on order a sample on the right side. And once you click on listings and then order the sample on the right side, you will be able to see the quantity that you want. After that, you can click on add another listing over here and you can add the particular sample that you want. Now, let's say it's just this one and this one, and now I can click on continue to check out on the bottom right. And once I have done that, so I can begin my checkout process. Now, you guys can see this is our checkout process with all our shipping info, and this is what the customers will also see once they go and go into their own Teespring accounts as well. Now, moving on to the next section, we have our Payout. So if you click on payouts on the left toolbar on Teespring, you will be able to see current payment amount has nothing. You can click on start creating to start building your payrolls from here as well. So once we go into the payout section, we can choose to click on start creating to build our payout. Now, after that, you even have some subscription information. So whatever plan you are on on Teespring, Will be illustrated over here then on the bottom left you have your purchases and then tools and service the tools and service section includes having your promotions pricing and ticketing pixel and tracking pixel so if we go into the promotion section you can build a particular promotion so let's say our promotion is going to be aavf1 and let's say it's going to be a shipping discount or maybe a discount discount so let's say it's going to be free shipping that is going to be the amount of over five dollars and then the expiration date is 
going to be let's say it's on the 2nd of november so from here you're just going to click on add discount on the right side so you can use the promo code such as aavfi to receive free shipping on your particular item that you have created now in teespring you also have expiry for shipping codes or for promotional codes so whatever shipping code that you create or promo code that you create you want to be able to provide a expiration date as well you have the status of a code and then the promo banner turned on now let's say this is going to be more of a secretive code you don't want all of your customers to be using it in that situation you want to turn off the promo banner so once you turn off the promo banner, you know, you're not going to be able to advertise it as much. But if you want to advertise it further, you can choose to display it on the promo banner as well. Now, after that, you have your pricing discounts as well, where you can give a volume discount. So let's say if someone is ordering maybe 100 units, then they can get a volume discount from you as well. And you also have the tracking pixel where you can enter your Facebook pixel ID to be able to integrate your Teespring into Facebook pixel as well. Now, moving on to our actual store section, I have already built a store, but to get started, let's get started with building a store step by step. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on edit store and I am going to view my store like this. And now you can see over here, this is what our store currently looks like. On the left you get a navigation section and in this section you can actually find all of the elements that are present in your store this is what our store looks like and the best part about using teespring is that it allows you customization but only to a certain extent so i can customize this but only to an extent where it is going to be usable so i can click on this navigation bar click on select image and upload my own image for my navigation bar, I can create a new background color as well as more menu item colors as well. Now, other than that, you also have your hero banner and you also have other options such as your product layout. So you can open up your product layout and click on add product and you can go on ahead and click on edit over here to customize the order of your products. You can mark some products as favorites and click on done over here to mark them as your favorite so those would be frequently featured products as well now going back into teespring over here you guys can see that these are our products and this is how it's structured and we can edit the layout and then click on exit editor now you can click on view store to take a look at what your store looks like and you can always change the name later on as well now you also can add your own domain name to teespring well that is going to actually cost you some money because if you want to connect a existing domain in teespring that is going to cost you $11.99 per year and then if you want to purchase a new domain you can purchase a domain directly from teespring and then you can connect that over here if you do that this will help you in reducing fees however this is the one thing i don't recommend about teespring that is connecting your own domain because sometimes it can feel like it's not worth it but for only 10 to 12 dollars a year it really isn't that much either especially if you just write it off as a business investment you're really not gonna feel like it's a lot of money especially if your products are selling on teespring now in your teespring section make sure to read the teespring policies which include their use of service so if you're liable for any copyrighted designs and how that is going to work through so make sure that all of the designs that you are using on teespring are your own or are licensed for commercial use because if something is not licensed for commercial use then you're gonna get in trouble and then you know that might end up getting your teespring store banned or you know temporarily shut down or blocked now after you have created some of your basic products built your store and you can create sales you can click on any of these sales channels to start adding them from your dashboard so to do that, all you have to do is click on the channel that you want to add your products to. Let's say I want to start selling on Instagram. So I'm going to click on connect over here. And once I do that, I will see the basic setup settings. So all you have to do is you can see you can set up shop or on Instagram. If you have a business or creator account, make sure you have that. And then what you're going to do, you're going to open up the Instagram app and you have a step-by-step -step 
section of how you can uh, complete your connection. You can do the same thing for Linktree as well as TikTok Shop. Now, what is the pricing of using, you know, Teespring? So if we take a look at the pricing of Teespring over here, you will be able to see that Teespring currently has multiple different plans and these plans are really dependent on what you want to, you know, how you want to link them. Now you can keep selling for 100% of the profit and whatever is the base cost is what is going to be deducted. Now keep in mind that transactional fees can also be deducted from each one of your sales. However, that transactional fee is not going to amount to really a lot if in the starting of your business, the cumulative transactional fee is going to be very less once you actually take a look at a item to item level. Now you can also see some other features include browsing, you know, showcasing your products as well as shoppable video and live shopping for TikTok shop integration on Teespring. Now you can do that with Linktree as well. You can do that with Instagram, OnlyFans, pop-up shop, as well as Twitch and YouTube. Now let's go ahead and create another product just to show you guys the different ways that you can create the same product. We previously created a t-shirt, but that t-shirt only had one section of printing. However, take a look at some of the other sections. You can find other types of items. You can even just search for a t-shirt on the top instead of going into one category. And this would help you in finding different items that might be unisex or might be for the opposite sex. And you can actually market them however you want. This is the all over print unisex tee. And I'm just going to open this up. And this is the all over item. So I can add my image all over. So I'm going to go into my downloads over here and take my image that I have click on open and then you will see how your shirt is going to be structured now you can also see the right sleeve and the left sleeve cut out the reason for this is that we can be better able to block or you know structure your print so I wouldn't want my print to be I wouldn't want my print to look bad and for that, you're getting different sections over here. So make sure you're using high resolutions whenever you're building these kinds of products. So let's say I want a background color of pink or maybe a lilac color like this. And now I can get started with actually building each individual section. So this would be the front of the sleeve and these would be the back of the sleeve. Now, keep in mind that the fold actually falls on top of your sleeve. So even though the back of your sleeve might seem like it's not that important, the back of your sleeve is always showing. So you want to make sure your designs are symmetrical over here. So if there is any distinctive pattern that you want to follow, you can input that pattern over here. Just as an example, I'll show you guys a floral pattern example. So where I want maybe my lines to be aligned. So it might be like this one over here and let's take this floral pattern and I'll show you guys how you can make sure that your print looks cohesive. So I would click on add image like this and then once you add your image, so you guys can see I have my image over here and I can place it like so. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Command C and then Command V and I've just copied this image, but you don't want to structure it like this. You want to rotate it or you know go on ahead and rotate this um, to the other direction and then you can also make it parallel as well just because now this line is cohesive and this is a line that only has these kinds of leaves and you can follow this same design on the other side as well so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy this and then i am going to command c and command v like this place it over here and then do the other side as well. Now both of my sleeves should have a very similar looking pattern instead of having the florals to be mumble jumbled and one side maybe has you know a lot of floral the other side has a lot of leaves so on and so forth so this makes sure that both of your prints are balanced on both of your sides for your particular design. Now moving on the next thing you have to keep in mind is your basic lines if you're using a line pattern then you also want that to join on the shoulders so if you're using vertical lines you want them to join on the shoulders if you're using horizontal lines in your design then you want them to meet on the right or left side of your particular design 
all of these little tips and tricks are actually really really life-changing because if you don't do them then your products don't turn out as well you can do the same thing with text if i have some text that i'm adding so let's say i'm adding this text and then i'm just going to change the color and then i'm going to change the style as well like this and then i'm going to do a rotation or something to my particular text like this and then i can resize it over here and then i can do command c command v and you know add my particular text so i'm just going to click on my text block click on this and you know i can keep on adding this text and form lines and patterns with the text directly over here now let's say i want to choose the colors that i want i think i'm only going to go for lilacs and pinks over here or maybe just even lilacs if i want so i think i'm just going to go for this color and then after that i am going to scroll down and set my pricing currently i'm selling at quite a stark up price which is 46 dollars where i'm getting 14 dollars in profit make sure you're not doing it this high whenever you're building your actual store you want your prices to be realistic so i'm going to sell this product for 34 dollars which will give me two dollars and 29 cents of profit and some advanced settings will include your featured view so we're just going to continue on over here and after we have you know built everything we can print this as well and get started with teespring and getting our products out there so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and if you have any questions or queries leave those in the comment box down below i would love to help you guys out